Hi everyone, it's getting close to Halloween and it happens to be my daughter's favorite holiday. So I know that she is expecting me to make some Halloween decorations with my succulents. So that's the plan for today. I thought it might also be something cool if anyone's having Halloween parties. So we'll make an arrangement and then either tiny arrangements or potentially favors if you are having a Halloween party that you wanted to provide favors for. So I did gather up some plants that I figured would be good to work with. Uh, darker plants and also ones that looked a little bit creepy, so had some sharp edges on it. Hawortheopsis is really great for that. Uh, fairy washboard is good. Um, zebra wart. So another type of Hawortheopsis. And I also pulled a few Echeveria Black Prince. This one especially because it is really pointy on the edges. So I thought that this one would be really nice. So this is kind of going to be our, our uh, little showpiece in our arrangement here. But I did have various other types. I just thought that these ones would look good together in an arrangement. So here we go. I'll start actually as, you know, probably should. I usually work from back to front, but if I have a large one that I want to kind of show off, that one sometimes will go in first. So it's good to kind of just see how much space it will take up. I wonder, I kind of want to put it on the side so some of the leaves can hang over. So that way there is still space for additional plants. Uh, I did bring along my tweezers, which I should use more often when making plant arrangements. So already in this pot, I do have a cactus soil. My favorite is the black gold brand. If you're gonna buy a pre-made one um, or really any type of soil with inorganic matter. So add some perlite, especially if you're getting that miracle Grow one. I always find that you need to add additions to that one. So it's okay if you get it, just make sure you add more perlite to it. Otherwise you're gonna get some soggy plants that are overwatered and they might die. I suppose I could have chosen a taller one also but it depends on the type of space. I also played with the idea of putting some snake plants in there. We'll see. <laughs> I may do have plenty of snake plants, so that's always a possibility. If I decide to later. All right, I have two of these. I do just wanna see which one might look better. This one has a lot more roots on it, so maybe actually. Let's see if I can get this out easily here. roots are down probably well it depends how long I want to leave this arrangement um, sometimes if I make like holiday themed ones I leave them as temporary arrangements but I imagine my daughter will probably like it so she may make <laughs> me a permanent arrangement for us oh I wonder if I should put these ones here I might just want to put this in the front too and then maybe not add this other one. Yeah, because that one looks a little broken anyway. Another uh, Black Prince Echeveria. So these, my original idea, I had some sedum, copper tone sedum I have. Um, some of them are a little bit more orange. They're still kind of yellow right now. Just depends how much sunlight they get. But if you do have some good copper tone sedum, you may want to put them in there uh, depending on their color. This one is still pretty green, but I kind of like it. So I think I'm going to put this one down in here. But they can be orange also, so if you're looking for like, you know, black and orange, typical Halloween colors, that could be good. I kind of just want one down in here. Corner. There we go. All right, so do we want to put this one in there also? Maybe. And then put some, I think I do. I think I do. I should put that one on the side. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. Move this one over. This is the problem with making arrangements is, yeah. Well, I guess not the problem, the fun. I should say the fun of making arrangements is anytime you put something in, you may have to mess around with it. 
but that's okay because even if there is some you know root breakage on the bottom a good rule of thumb is always to wait before watering it so yeah so even if you do break the roots which i mean is normal generally happens when you're repotting these i just kind of want to break up this root ball a little bit more leaving a mess on the bench as usual when i put some things together since i want to get both of these in here now Can. You can if you find that you have really long roots, like even here, I could probably trim these down. Move some more off. They will regrow. Obviously, you want to make sure that they have some roots and you don't want to be pulling off too many of them because it could be harmful for the plant, but you can always take off some, especially if they're, see how those roots were a little bit darker in color. Best roots. You want to see bright white roots. Maybe a little bit yellow. Right. Yeah, yeah, I do like that. Soil in here. in here, which is good. I feel like that looks kind of cool, actually, too. And I played with the idea of maybe even putting the pumpkin on here, but since I chose a smaller pot, I have a larger black pot also. But since I chose a smaller one, I figured let's just keep that uh, keep that on the side for now. But if you do have a large black pot, you could do layers, which looks really cool too. Mm -hmm. Which side of this plant looks a little bit nicer? This would be a better front. I can go grab a couple more. Take that down in there. Yeah, I like the sharpness of this. You know what I am? Let me grab some more. Because I like how those look. Okay. Let's see. You can always get a paintbrush. Well, we'll get a paintbrush afterward and just brush it off to make sure it looks nice. Get this in. You can, of course, add stones also. I do have black stones somewhere, but you know, I just hate telling people <laughs> to put stones in or modeling putting stones in because so often the stones lead to the plants rotting because they get overwatered since the stones hold in moisture. So in these ones that I make for videos, I try to not do that as often because I don't want people to have their plants rot because that's no fun. Um, so, I mean, I really kind of, you know, I'm gonna get another little one. I got another little one for the time. Okay, so I just grabbed um, some more of the Haworthia venosa and then this Haworthia viscosa also. I really like the sharp points on it. I feel like it's really good for this type of arrangement. And then we can fill up our little flavor. All right, so tiny pumpkin time. Of course, these can serve as just decorations also, or party favors, if you are having a party. So, let's see, just some, you know, some tiny ones here. Fill it up with cactus soil. If you plan on giving them as party favors, you might, well, it just kind of depends on if you think people are gonna actually keep them in this or not. If there are people who don't know plants, <laughs> you may wanna drill a tiny hole in the bottom before you give them away. Um, if there are people who do know plants and know to, you know, repot them and not leave them in this forever, then, yeah, you can just leave them. So there are, I actually went to the plant nursery today, and I was thinking, because I was thinking about doing um, different types of Halloween arrangements with cactus, and I just decided against it. There are a lot of different types of cactus, though, if you're more into cactus. 
this as opposed to other types of succulents. There are a lot of them that have this cobweb look. So I already knew I had a couple of these really tiny mini cobweb hens and chicks. So I figured these would kind of do it for me. I don't like the look of them quite as much for Halloween, I definitely do, but for regular arrangements, not so much. So I didn't really want to buy any cactus <laughs> that had this look. But if you like this look, there are so many that you can buy. And they make for a really great creepy decorations. And again, these ones really just lay on top but still haven't developed significant roots, so. But that does look really cute, I have to say. All right, so pretty simple, but really cute, right? So that's our little, yeah, a little treat. I don't think anyone's gonna wanna give these out to kids at Halloween, but maybe adults. I'm gonna move that one back over here. And here again is the finished product. So to review some of the plants, we have the Black Prince Echeveria, the Hortheopsis venosa in the back and in the front, little Hortheopsis viscosa, two zebra wart, and the Coppertone sedum. And then in the little pumpkin, the cobweb hens and chicks, and then a couple more of the Hortheopsis venosa.